Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond, and in this video I'll be unboxing Monster Slaughter Underground, which is an expansion to Monster Slaughter by Ankama Games. And if you want to learn how to play Monster Slaughter, just click the link in the description below or the eye in the corner of this video, and there I will teach you on how to play the game and also give you my final thoughts. And this is an expansion that was kickstarted and has some new miniatures, some new additions to the game. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. Side. All right, Monster Slaughter Underground by Ankama Games. Idea by Jeffrey Wood and art by Guillaume Duchemin and Kim Etinoff. All right, it's for ages 14 and up, which plays in about 45 to 60 minutes, two to five players. It's an add on to the core game. And on the back you can see that also this expansion does use the box as the game board just like the core game uh, which you might remember and that's really fun so we got a completely uh, illustrated box there and some new miniatures some new 3d doors and barricades and lots of new cards and tokens so let's open it up and see what's in the box Okay, so the bottom of the box is a printed sheet, which Ankama often does, supposedly to uh, make the game for different languages. This is, of course, the English back of the box. And inside, first of all, we've got the rule book, which is just a thin booklet, uh, 16 pages with a, a table of contents. And it has an overview of all the components that we will see and how to set up the extra, uh, well, the, the extra parts. So you got here a trap door to the basement, uh, which brings you to this tile, which is pretty cool. And new cards. And what they do, so all the the cards are described here, are explained. There's a turret trap as well. New tokens. Yep. And there's new scenarios. So that's pretty cool. Five new scenarios there. There is a player aid, which is very convenient. So let's see here, we have uh, all the different monsters from the core game, which is nice. I'm not sure if that includes the stretch goals or not. I think it does. Yeah, because that's quite a lot. That's 11 types. And all of the party guests, including the new uh, agents from this expansion. And it's double-sided, so it also explains the game turn, which is very convenient. Um, the actions you can do, moving, peeking, scaring, searching, smashing a door, attacking. There's mutation there, end of the game. And some additional rules that you mustn't forget. So that is very convenient to have. It's a bit thin paper though. I mean, uh, a player aid would have been handy if it was a bit stronger cardboard, uh, but it's pretty big, you know, and you, want, uh, you probably want that just somewhere on the table where everyone can see it. Piece of cardboard. We have uh, a sheet of tokens. That's pretty cool. Here is a, uh, a strong box there with uh, ammo, I suppose. And there's a new nine o'clock token, the agents, more of their tokens there. We have these uh, bolts and the turret and the trap door over here. And all of that is of course a double sided. So that's pretty cool. All right. Wow. Let's see. We have this insert that holds the cards and the token so there's spots for all of the different tokens here so you can uh, i'll just show that because that, there aren't that many you can put that there you can put the nine o'clock token over here and i suppose you can put this here as well 
maybe even this. <laughs> then we've got a spot for this, and there is a spot for this. It's pretty fun. And we have a spot for all of these bolts here. <laughs> they have made a spot for everything. I believe these go here. And that does mean that I think these two go here. Yes, they do. So they made a hole so you can take them out like that. So that's where all of that stuff goes. Well, this is a smaller one, so I'm not sure if that goes there or not, but yeah. I mean, there's room. It doesn't really matter. So yeah, so you have some additional room for all these uh, tokens. But let me just take that out. I'll take a look at the miniatures in a bit. Because here you can see that the box itself is a game board, which is pretty cool. So this is the basement. And here's the stairs leading down. And there is a workbench there. That's pretty cool. Look at the old radio. Some vats of chemicals. There is a, um, a motor there with over pump with a, uh, with a tube and a little table there. All right, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so let's take a look at the minis then. Shall we start with the, with the turret? So that's pretty fun. It has these small wheels. So you can, you know, you can put it down like that and you can roll it so it's mobile. It's got these two big guns there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Fun looking little turret, actually. You can see the bullets there as well. It's pretty detailed. Really nice. Two grips to point it. To turn it so yeah clear treads there on the, on the wheels profile all of that is really nicely done you can see the rivets in the metal so yeah pretty cool looking turret all right let me just put that back that way around i believe yes and then we have the two agents so this is agent p let's Try to get that in focus. So uh, yeah, he's crouched. He or she is crouched. And it's got a big shield there. And that looks pretty cool. Like, uh, you know, like a SWAT agent with the helmet and the uh, armor. And there's the, the gun. So yeah, also pretty detailed. You can see all the bags and the grenades on their belt and the radio on the back. The bulletproof vest with the letters on it actually says MSUG. So that's the first SWAT agent and here is the second one, Agent S. Uh, holding a gun or rifle. And also, of course, fully armored with all the accessories. There's a dagger there. So that's pretty cool. Really detailed miniature, the gas masks on. Nice. So you get those. And then, of course, in the box, we got the uh, 3D doors. Which is cool uh, that we got these because the uh, original game came with cardboard doors that you would slide over the edges of these uh, the walls of the um, the shack that you're in the cabin, and uh, they work. But because they were cardboard, after extensive use, putting them on and taking them off, they might they were glued together like a U shape, and they would come undone if you used them too much, and you had to glue them back again and. You know that's a bit of it works but it's a it's a bit of a hassle so they actually made plastic 3d doors that of course won't snap open again so that's basically the same idea as the cardboard ones only in plastic and that won't snap so that's pretty cool so really deep detail there they kind of exaggerated all the detail in these in these games which is the the, the art style really 
So that's nice. You got uh, the lock there with the handle, the doorknob, and the uh, the big heavy metal hinges. So that looks pretty cool. So we have several of those. Let's just see. And this is just a piece of foam, I guess. Yeah. And down here we have some more of those doors. I'm just gonna turn this over so I can see the barricades. So these are the barricades. Basically the same doors, just barricaded shut with huge chains and an extra board. So that's pretty funny, you know, the extra chains. All right, so you get, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of those and the rest are regular doors. So they're pretty nice. Now let's take a look at the cards. Okay, so <clears throat> here is the card for Agent S. Which who has five lives and five health and uh, a die X says there movement and agent P and they have some uh, some equipment so you've got the grenade here the rifle the assault rifle shotgun the uh, infrared goggles, there's a flare, the fire extinguisher, the barricaded doors, chains, the wire cutter, here's a blowtorch, that's a piece of meat, <laughs> the taser gun, broken bottle, some uh, first aid kits, some bandages, a packet of blood, plasma, and some fungus. Some mushrooms growing there. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Helmet with uh, a siren on it. <laughs> a ghost. <laughs> Fake ghost. Oh, and of course, a brain in a jar. <laughs> There's the uh, the motor from a um, from a speedboat. Could be a deadly weapon there, some kind of generator. And that's those cards. And in the second pack we get some more cards here with these um, actions. So here we go. The monster may perform one extra action. Automatic success. Extra die. No special abilities for the victims. A die for searching. A die for attacking. Peeking. Looks at all the cards in the room. It's draw pile. Nice. Oh, one less reaction die. I'll just flip through these. This is pretty cool. They change up the game quite a bit with points. So that's some of the uh, new stuff in this game. Here is the uh, K1B00 turret. <laughs> it's a trap. I'll just put that with these. And there's, uh, oh, actually, you know, I think that does belong with these stuff you can find. Nothing here. Mighty meat, two flesh tokens <laughs> to get an extra action. Family time. There's quite a stack of new cards to add to the game, which is nice. What do we have here? The faulty sump pump from the basement. Basement is flooding and filling with water. Every victim in this zone at the end of the round loses one health point. None of the monsters get tokens for these injuries. The monsters in the basement cannot play more than two actions, even if they leave the basement. 
the storm <laughs> removes all the regular doors from the cabin leave barricades and the basement door pretty cool some fun new uh, things that happened the radio which was also in the basement and they can try to use the radio to call for help cool and then you get surprise visitors <laughs> Here are the guests following the trapdoor into the basement with a ladder token, yeah. Okay, cool. The barrels leaks in toxic gas. <laughs> Smells like monster spirit. <laughs> you mutate. It came from the basement. Some more things that events that happen. Basement event cars are basically what's new. Here's the response team. And those were all the cards. All right. Okay, so that's everything that comes in the expansion that adds some new gameplay, some new uh, events and new cards to the core game. And so that was my unboxing of Monster Slaughter Underground by Ankama Games. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Please also consider becoming a Patreon saint to my channel by clicking the link to my Patreon page in the description below or the icon at the end of this video, which will take you to my Patreon page where you can read how you can support my channel, which is greatly appreciated. And you'll also get your name in the credits of all of my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.